Hunter, is that you? Oh, it's you. Hunter, right? Sorry for, um, last night. Well then, I hope you managed to get a restful sleep. You really think I could sleep after what I've been through? No, Hunter. I definitely did not get any rest last night. I just sat up and stared at the moon. Is it weird that I think she's going to be waiting for me in my dreams? I would almost count on it. What makes you say that? You were fallen. You now have a connection with her. She will never cut the cords. No, she hasn't. She still got her claws sunk into me. I can feel them scratching. You may have taken me from her yesterday, but she still wants me by her side. Just like she wants you. <sighs> There's... Uh, something... Something I need to tell you. The moment you drained the darkness from me, I had a vision. What vision? The only way I can describe it was an ancient temple with tentacles etched in stone, reaching up and out like they wanted to strangle the world. I think it was the Temple of Cthon. I had the same vision. You did? What does it mean? I don't know. But my premonitions always come true, which is why you have to let me help you stop this one. Are you sure you are up to it? You do not need more time to rest and heal? You want to help me heal? Let me serve Lilith the revenge she deserves for what she did to me. What she did to us. Let me think about it. That's all I ask. I'm not as fragile as I look, you know. I'm up to it. I just want to make sure you are well, Wanda. I don't think I'm ever going to be well again. But I can make sure everyone else is. I'm talking your ear off, aren't I? I don't mean to keep you. Actually, I would like to know more about you. I would like that too. I want to know more about you. All right. Tell me your story, Wanda. My chaos magic came to me when I was a child in Transia, defending my father from a mob. I quickly learned how much humanity can fear what they don't understand. My twin brother had talents of his own. When the mob came for us, we fled and never looked back. We used our talents to survive and eventually transcend our lot in life. But Pietro and I disagreed on how. Where is Pietro now? Still in Transia. He believes in a world where mobs don't menace children who are born different. I am not so optimistic. If he stayed in Transia, where did you go? All across Europe. I reinvented myself, lived a quiet life, and explored the limits of my magic. That's how Agatha found me. That's when I learned the source of my chaos magic. She offered to bring me here so she could teach me how to refine it. <sighs> we had so many plans. Can you give me insight into your magic? Chaos magic is inherently dangerous, for it is the same power wielded by Cthon himself. It is magic forbidden to the Sorcerer Supreme, for its nature is unpredictable and its touch corrupts. But not for me. I leave no stain on reality, and I have used it effortlessly since childhood. I am the exception to the rule. Why is chaos magic so dangerous? If I desire it, I can alter reality itself or destroy it. And despite what I believed, I can lose control. That's what happened with with Agatha. Can we talk about your journal detailing the Abbey's mysteries? Oh my. I'm so sorry. For what? 
Those were all notes to myself. I'm surprised they make any amount of sense. They do not. Not really. Could you help me decipher them? I... I'm sorry, Hunter. Those journals were what led to Agatha's death. I can't be a part of that. Not anymore. I had questions about your life after the Abbey. Such as? What is it like to be an apprentice to Doctor Strange? I'm still getting used to it. After Agatha, I never thought anyone would trust me with magic again. A powerful wielder of chaos magic. Why indeed? That's not how I see myself. I don't know if I'll ever be more than a lost kid from Transia. I wasn't worth Agatha's attention, so why his? It sounds as though you do not want to be his apprentice. No! It's a great honor. I learned so much in such a short time. I just... I don't think I can live up to the idea of apprentice to the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, Hunter? We shall speak later, Wanda. I look forward to it. Yes, Hunter? We shall speak later, Wanda. I look forward to it. Hey, boss, head to the forge. There's something you need to see. It's not strange in his pajamas, though I will let you know if that happens. He has these matching slippers with curly toes. A real Santa's elf vibe. But that's not relevant. Come to the forge, okay? Of all the gamma accelerators I've seen in my life, this is definitely the gamma-ist. That was a hell of an operation. Snatch and grab and a rescue. I score that a big win for everyone. Indeed, a much needed victory on many levels. No argument here. Question is, what do we do now? You don't need to worry about a thing, friends. I've got it handled. All right, Hunter. Today is the first in a long while I haven't awoken to see doom clouds gathering on the horizon. It's a refreshing change of pace. We successfully retrieved the Gamma Accelerator and brought Wanda home. No wonder your mood is lighter. I'm so glad we kept the Accelerator out of Lilith's hands. Although Tony's notion of stopping the prophecy is doomed to failure because the only thing that can stop Cathan is Cathan. But that's a worry for another day. Today is about optimism. Dark days will inevitably return, but I think you are wise to take a moment and appreciate the good things when we have them. Success follows failure. Failure follows success. It's circular. At this moment, we are at a crest. We bask in the warm feelings and pray we don't drown the next time we descend into failure. I would like to talk more, but there is still much for me to do. Too much, but I appreciate the time you gave me. Be well. I'm not sure how to even pick up the Gamma Accelerator. I can't tell you how great it feels to have the Gamma Accelerator back. Seriously, total game changer. You are well. But we can't start passing out the party favors quite yet. If we don't find Johnny Flame Top and grab the Parchment of Power, this thing is just a glorified barbecue lighter. Johnny Blaze is not nearly the threat to us Banner is. I suspect he will hand it over once he realizes we are the world's last hope. Oh yeah, he's been totally reasonable and thoughtful so far. And if we do get the parchment, you really think you will be able to stop the prophecy? My deepest respect for Dr. Spooky aside, I will put my faith in the laws of particle physics over some moldy old prophecy. Your overflowing confidence is something to behold, Tony. I wish I had some of it. Oh, take all you want. I have enough confidence for the whole team. No matter what, though, this whole thing has already been completely worthwhile. Oh? 
And why is that? Because right now, I'm looking at the Gamma Accelerator, and Bruce Banner is looking at an empty spot where the Gamma Accelerator used to be. All we need now is the parchment of power. Do you think Stark can pull this off? It's a risk. A big risk. I think the guy's a genius, but come on. It feels like we're pushing all our chips on this one bet. If he manages to pull it off, our prayers will be answered. And if he doesn't, we gotta be prepared for hell on Earth. You want in on this discussion, Hunter? Probably was not. Cap and I were just having some words about Tony. I hear a bit of hesitation in your voice. The thing is, I've seen Tony like this before. He becomes fixated on one idea to the exclusion of all others. Sometimes the results are great. He can split a molecule and make it rain in the Sahara. But considering the danger we're all in, we can't afford to have anything less than absolute perfection. Otherwise, I'm afraid too many people will die. I know the danger all too well, and I would say your concerns are valid. The question is, what to do about them. I don't want to completely derail the plan, but I do think it would be wise to have an alternative ready to go. Meaning? We need to start walking, talking, and planning as though this prophecy is going to come true. So what do you plan to do? Are you going to confront Tony? I'm not sure what that would accomplish. Our skepticism aside, no one wants this plan to work more than we do. We'll just have to cross our fingers and hope, like everyone else. Here's hoping Tony can pull this off. I understand you spoke to... Wanda this morning. Tell me, how is she faring? Strong and determined, ready to resume her fight against Lilith. And you trust her? I do, and so should you. You owe her that after you wrote her off. Yes, I suppose I gave up on her long before she fell to Lilith. I just thought she was lost to us, beyond saving. No one has been purged of Lilith's corruption before. I didn't think it was possible. But you and Nico made it possible. This isn't easy for me to say, but I'm sorry for ever doubting her. Who you should really be apologizing to is Nico. Yes, yes, I know. I just don't know if she would accept an apology from me at this point. Do it anyway. I can't help but ask, what was it like? Purging Wanda of Lilith's corruption? Did you suffer any strange effects I should know about? Now that you mention it, I have noticed some subtle changes. What do you mean? I do not know how to say this, but... Yes. Go on. I think I am growing horns in a tail. I laugh, Hunter, but I shouldn't. And neither should you be joking about such matters. At least your sense of humor is still intact. We will all need it in the days to come. Well, that's enough of me monopolizing your time for now. We'll talk more later.
terrorists still intent on detonating these rift charges wherever they can. Consequently, be damned. Just focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. Our goals align. Start being nicer to people. We must help them. I need no allies. after me. Whatever gets the job done. That's one charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. your strength. Death has arrived. Prepare yourselves for the journey.
matter how hard you strike. the charges. They won't be conducting any further experiments here. You did not think I was done, did you? Try. 
try at least. have Hydra operation foiled. I'll never get tired of hearing that. Now that Wanda's back, I feel like the band is finally back together. Can't wait to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Miss that witch. Go easy on her, Robbie. She's been through a lot. It might be a while before things go back to normal again. Tch, normal? Since when were we ever normal? But Nico is right. Wanda might not be as social as we would like her to be. I just want to make sure she knows that we love her and are happy to have her home. Maybe start slow with something familiar, like a movie night. Blade, you just read my mind. Wow, really? What am I thinking now? You must have a mind for it to be read, Robbie. I meant let's have a watching party in Wanda's honor. I think she's really gonna like that. Your actions with Wanda really... 
Thanks for letting me tag along today. I feel better already. But man, fighting demon hordes is almost as exhausting as fighting Avengers. <sighs> Forgot how relaxing it is to just zone out and watch a good movie after a long day of battle. I can see why you and Nico are so close. You have much in common. Yeah, we do. So you want to join us? That sounds lovely. All right. Wanda, are those three women witches? They are. They do not seem like witches. That's because they don't know they have powers. Yet. And if they did, they would be wise to hide them. Reminds me of how all the witches tried to hide themselves in 17th century Salem. Times really haven't changed that much. If there is one thing I know for sure, it is that power frightens people. And when people get frightened... Well, you know. You literally lived around the times of the Salem Witch Trials. I was a young child, but yes. Caretaker and Agatha were terrified of being found out in those days. I know the feeling. <sighs> Sometimes I just wished I was, you know, normal. Things would have been easier for me growing up. Easier in what way? Sounds like there is a story there. There's always a story, but this is movie night, not a therapy session. And I really don't know you that well. Fair enough. Besides, we should be paying attention to the movie. We're just getting to the good part. Are those witches actually charmed by that awful man? Well, he is the devil. Sort of. Then why do they not just turn him into a toad or banish him? Because they're good witches, Hunter. Like I hope to be one day. We've been through a lot as a team, but we've come a long way. Hydra's on the move. Meet me at the mirror table, ASAP. This war feels... <laughs> Any new leads? Time to spill your guts, Hydra. Here's the latest from Hydra World. These are the current priorities. I'll make it my highest priority. Who are we sending on an op? I will do as you wish. How's it going, boss? I have high expectations. Sometimes, I even impress myself. A task for us? Until next time.
heroes lose their way. It happens. The only thing that matters is that Johnny Blaze found his path again. And he's going to do the right thing. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. I don't see a problem with that. We have the upper hand. by Hydra's agents. Focus on disabling that truck. I was expecting a challenge. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Get the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time was clearly past. You have earned this. As a child, I fear the death of the villain. 
Now I teach them to fear me. You left off no choice. I'm hoping you'll learn from this, but I know you won't. Stop me that easily. I'll handle it. Is that really your best? Not out of this yet. You've got nothing to fear. Be ready to single. I'm not waiting around much longer. Disable that truck before they start moving. Advantage is mine. Doctor. We will never forsake her. For a Hydra! So far... Wow. It's now or never. Hit that truck. Wonders of modern technology. Truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. Get out of there! 
That's not enough. You can't possibly think you can win this fight. I can hold out. You might want to get that looked at. That should put a dent in their operations. Nicely done. 